Let's get into this and unload this stuff. I was going to call it crap. <laughs> it is crap, but it's good crap. Good money crap. Put that stuff down there. That down there, because we've got to get to and process that, that stuff. Heat shrink, we'll put that in a tub as well. Put that down there. Um, we'll put the cable ties in there as well. All of our strippable wire, we'll put that in our in our tub over here. It's getting full. Well, yeah, those brackets are just steel. You can throw them sideways, like so. Look at that. Better test that. Got a magnet there. Yeah, put it down where it belongs, down there. I'm going to open the tail board for that. We've got to open it anyway. That's sticky steel. Didn't look like it. Got a battery here. We'll test to see if that's okay. Oh, yeah, just chuck it in there. Don't matter where. I'll go get the meter for that. While June's over there unloading that. Still haven't got to and clean this up yet. We've cleaned up outside. We've just got to get in here and clean up in here. Got rid of the mess that was there. It's all cleaned out here. Get in there. In there. Turn the old meter on. See what we're going to get. Put it on the 20 volts. It's only a 12 volt battery. That's a 12.98. Bloody hell. That'll go in our pile of keeps. Put it over here with our keep pile. <laughs> Got a whole lot of them, so might be able to make a big battery bank. I don't know, I don't think so. I haven't connected the other one up yet. What you do with the do? What to do with the do? No. I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> uh, that can go down. That's got that piece there that's got a bit of brass in that. Uh, oh, no! I never give no, up. don't do there. I'll give you a jump start. You won't jump start me. I'm trying to poke my bum. Heat shrink there. Down there. Putting it in the first one, are you? Or in the bin, aren't you? Oh, geez, look at those. We've got a rubbish bin. No. We haven't. That's steel. Yeah, it's got paint in it. Surprisingly enough. Get rid of this one. Get over there. There, that didn't go in. Put that down the bottom. It's a nice bit of copper, that. I've got to cut the insulation off it. More heat shrink. We're getting in the road, eh? I'll go this yeah. side. I'll get these big lights. Yeah, put it down in that box. Yeah, yeah, I know, but just put it, you know, have, have a look at that. That's a funny PowerPoint. That's what PowerPoint, yeah. Funny PowerPoint. Ah, I won't get to and Don't know whether we'd be able to plug that in or not. We'll have to put a cord on it, I reckon. Let's see whether it works. Over here. I'm out of your road. Cast alloy on those. Ah, uh, you can um, um, you can grab the cutters and cut it straight away. Where were they on the bench here? Just use those because we've got to get in and do that. I'll push these off there. They've got to be pulled apart. No, I don't need washers. I'm good. Four. What do I want washers for? I'm all washed out anyway. 
Yeah, I want to hang on to those for the solar panels. The new solar panels are coming. They connect, there's another one in here somewhere. Just don't chuck, don't chuck this in the metal because it's brass. That piece, oh, oh, I'll hang on to that. I'll hang on to that thing. Stick that in my pocket. <laughs> Never know what you're picking up over night time. That's got to be stood up. What are they? Are they... Hmm? No, they're metal. They're metal. Um, but yeah, why I was talking about the place I was talking about, because I'd seen those and I thought, oh yeah. You can leave that in that. You can leave that stuff in there. Just take the plastic, this stuff out. So that's got the screws in there. That's fine the way it is. Like so. Grab the zippy tie out there. Washer over there, didn't go. Where is it? There. Now we've got a rubbish bin. Uh, leave it all in there. Yeah, but I don't know what's underneath it. Oh, just a plastic box, which is rubbish. Blah, blah, blah. Alright, now you've got something to put stuff in. That's rubbish. Rubbish. And we don't want all those washers. They don't look too bad though. I'll sit them down now. I'll have them later. Oh, what's poking my guts? Something's. Oh, it's a screw in that. That in there. What are those? I don't know. You're in your hand, not me. Solar panel stuff. Um. Yes. Yeah. I don't know where you put it. I don't know where you put it. I didn't put it anywhere. I it sitting there. It's on the ground. <laughs> we'll put it on this bin. Okay. Put it there. Oh, that's a big hunk. I mean, don't need picking that up. Get on. Don't need a big nail, please. Yeah, you know, that's what I couldn't understand. Why are they using a big ass nail like that? Oh, that's what I want to try and do too. Um, you know, that reminds me of trying to get some screws instead of using pegs. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I don't know where to get them from. Uh. I think Bunnings might Bunnings. Yeah. Something you use on the tool and it's got yeah, a head Bunnings on it. VCF. It's got to have a, like, a... No, you don't need that. That goes in the rubbish bag. Get rid of that bottle. Oh, come out here. Come the popper. Oh yeah, that's a big chunk, isn't it? It is a big chunk. We'll put that down there. All those nuts and bolts we don't want to hang on to. Them in there. All right, that goes in domestic alloy because it's squashed. Where was that one? This first bin. Yes, put that down with the big processing stuff. I think I threw a piece of wire in there. Looks like it. Oh, I did. Oh, come here, come here, come here. Oh, I had to get a bit of wire out. <laughs> I'm not letting a bit of wire go. Now I've got to get out of here. Oh, I don't throw the bag in. Yeah, that's it. Oh. Now you got something for rubbish. 
heat shrink. Oh, the battery charger's got to be pulled apart. I don't know whether it's a battery charger. Negative in, positive out. Positive out, negative whatever. That's damn in, is it? Ah, yes. Domestic. Domestic aluminium. I'll shift, shift that out of the road. Spray can. Goes in there. That's it. Another spray can. Matte black. Matte went black. I'll get around that other side there. Oh, come off. Are you going to put that over on the duva? Over on the on, on your waiting table, like whatever you like to call it. <laughs> Processing section. Right, that's going to be stripped that piece. Piece there, that's got to go that way. That to there. What did you say this was? Um, I think it's brass. I don't know. Just a look. Because there's a piece of... What you do with that? Oh, it's still there. Yeah, it might be brass because she's not sticky. Nothing. Put it on the bench. Same as that because the other piece is in there. Oh, hang on here. We'll give it a test. Because that come off this. Now that's sticky. And that's sticky. So that goes that way. That goes on the bench. Because I've got to get that plastic out. More aluminium there. Oh, it's a power pack. Yeah, I want to hang on to that one. Always handy to hang on to those. Oh, what have you got there? Yeah. Gonna... What the devil no, are they? Is, eh? I'll put them over there. Put that with it. If you can. Oh, there we go. That's a that's a damn good one. Put that with it. <coughs> <laughs> All the good stuff. I'm trying to pull things out of here. Can you? <laughs> Well, that's what you've got to take out of that. Oh, that's a printer bloody cartridge. That's and rubbish. Chuck this out of the way. Yeah, that's rubbish. You never know what you're picking up of a night time. Regardless of whether you've got a lot on or not. No, I won't pick up a Sheila. That's what you. Well, I'll just chuck it in anyway. No chance of me picking up one of those. I got mine. You're standing right in front of me. Oh, yeah, you just threw a nut in there. <laughs> I seen that. I thought, where are you putting that? <laughs> it's going to come apart. It might have a steel rivet. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you want to pull that barrel off? <laughs> You're going to shove that in your pocket, or oh, I've got something in my pocket. That goes into this. Oh, come here. Low grade wire, we'll leave that open. That's got to go there. Yeah, big allen key. I don't just bring home bloody scrap steel or bottles, you know, I'll bring home tools. <laughs> More of those. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that can go all heavy. Here. Another one of them. Oh, you haven't put them over. Oh, you've just left it there. Yeah, put them over there. There's another solar do for lucky thing, eh? Yeah, put that there. I can use those. Well, now I know what's there. Yeah, and you put it over there. It's yeah, in your well, you hand. I took one item. Here, here's another part. Here. What's that one? Oh. Put it over there, please. Yeah. 
Right, get this barrel out of the road. I even got a pair of cutters. Oh, they don't look to be, they don't look like they work. Get that out of our road. Why do they not work? Oh, I think I know why they don't work. That clip is all seized up. Maybe. Don't know. No, yeah, the spring's buggered. Spring's gone out of it. Well, they're, they're cast alloy anyway. Take the pins out, pull it apart. Oh, got another wire. It goes up there, though. Oh, yeah, screwdriver. It, it won't because it's not the torque bit. It's just an ordinary small Phillips. I know what you're thinking. It. You're shoving tools in your pocket. And get a cutting wheel go on the bench. They shrink. And there. And a cutting wheel. That there. So much easier with the way we've got this now. A lot less buggerising around. Enough. You want to hang on to it? You can. But I reckon going stainless would be better than having those ones. I know what you're thinking. Between the awning. Yes? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But see, you're better off going stainless ones instead of those ones. Yeah, you're better off going. Yeah, in that. Regardless of it's brand new or not. Lump of concrete off this. Sorry, bashing you about. Oh, sorry. You want me to grovel too? You want me to grovel for it too? <laughs> hey, look, this is why the magnet's here. Instead of picking one piece up at a time. This is the magnet that I should have had last night. Don't know why we wanted that basket, but anyway. See? Hi. Talking about the white basket. Don't know what we've got it there for. Bless you. Oh, they got brass on those, those points. Oh, that's just black plastic. What the hell is that out for? Good piece of aluminium wire. Two. Oh, I don't know where we're going to put that. Just put it on the bench for now. Well, hmm. Put it in that one there, even though it's copper. No, I said the blue one. Just put it there. What? It what? I'm putting it in the blue one. It's only one strand. <laughs> Plenty of electrical tape. That in there, over in the strip stuff. Here, I'll throw them over there so you can put them in. What's that? Nothing? Have a look up in the gut. 
probably got a bit of brass. Guys, that way, that way. Right. A bit of extruded there. That goes there. Domestic alloy. Birds are going mad. Must be something over there. with that it's all over this side all that steel stuff yeah that can go in domestic What else we got here? That piece. Oh, that went in the cans. Have to fish that one out. In what? It's in the cans. It's a big piece. Oh, I'll put that as extra. It's aluminium. It's in there somewhere. Oh, I think we got most of that. Hmm. There's not much in those. Honey. It did go in there. Oh, yeah. bugger me did. <laughs> Cutting wheels. Got a few of those. It's good. Oh, you can't find it. No. Yeah. Alright. I'll get up there and drag that stuff back. It would have went to the bottom. it's been heavy this is actually in the road really should be around the side oh, look at what oh you found it now i was discussing oh, with oh they it. did stay in there i didn't lose them after all you might recall me putting those stickers everyone on the edge of that barbecue i hopped in the car and i actually totally forgot about them so they've landed in the car you can go and scan them on my phone <laughs> she gonna do that. <laughs> yeah, that bloody thing's in there. I can hear it tinking around in there. Yeah, it's in there. There it is. Way down the bottom down there. There it is. Alright. That's trash. Oh, we'll use that one for trash. Okay, cans, stuff in that. Where's that big clamp? Put that up there, it's like so. Tell me what we get. You gotta find the app. Oh, you're going to play the game. That's a natural way, isn't it? Uh, he extruded. Got that in the hole. Jeez, that's a big bottle. Big plastic one. That, that, that. Ah, yeah, play now. Jeez, we've got a few of those to go through. Yep. I only scan it once. Oh, there's a big nugget. Another big nugget. It's got to go that way. Oh, put that over there. It's got to be processed. That there, that there. Oh, there's more solar stuff. Sweet. Be all set. I won't need to worry about it. Uh, domestic. Off. Make a room. Put that down there too. Right, that's 
going to get stripped, same as that piece, that won't, that will, that piece there, what's that? Well, hopefully the magnet will pick that up, that's about it, that goes that way, this one goes this way, this goes this way, how'd you go? Have a go. Oh, thousand points. What's that for? Rewarded points. Thousand. My magnet. Continue. Continue. That's what you got. Oh, okay. That's on that one. Yeah. Now yeah, you got to do that one. I've already done that one. Oh, you have. Yeah, but it come up with. Oh, no. We'll scan it that. again. Oops. Okay. It's already done. Yeah. All right. Back to this. Yeah, you just press the bottom key. Trash, trash. Down to there. Yeah, get, once they're done, they're done. They're done for. Get that bolt out of that hole. Grab that oh, cord on the van, bloody vehicle. Huh? I'll get this off. Get this out of the road. You want to unhook, please? It goes over that side anyway. Got to get the test, test the spokes on that. They might be aluminium spokes, those. Right, that there, there. That under there. That steel. You want to clean up that tailboard, please? I can get it off. <laughs> you put that on the bench there, thanks. Yep. New item. Oh, I'll get this Barbie off. Oh, there goes a little rock. Heat rock. Where are we going with this? I think we'll just sit it here for now. Well, that can go straight in there. This process straight away. That can go there. I've got to unclip all of that. I'll, what I do is with, with the barbecues is uh, unbolt them so I can fit them in there. Not so bulky then. Up there, that's got to be done with. That'll go. That over there, over there. Where's the magnet going? Behind me, is it? Huh? Oh, just wondering where the magnet's going here. It's there. That there, that there. Hmm? We didn't do too bad. About half a bag. 
cans and stuff. I think we're pretty heavy. Look, magnet. You want to grab those brake pads out? Please. get it lighter. I'll get it lighter. Is it all the steel? Looks like it. Looking like it. Couple of screws there. Can there. That there. Right. I think we got it all. Well if it's not gonna go we put it in domestic. That's what we do. I don't know. Well you got your glasses on, I ain't. What? <laughs> You've got your glasses on, I ain't. It won't be under there. You won't get it under there because it'll be on, on that label. No, it's not on that label. Well, if it's not on that label, put it in domestic. Okay. Last Here's your gun. Put that in domestic, please. Last, last time I found one like that was underneath the label. Um, I'm not, not too concerned. <laughs> hey? Aluminium. Okay, on the bench because you've got to pull a pin out of it. Right, that is the ute unloaded. Sweet. Ready for another load. Ah, uh, yes. Yes. So overall, we just about got a. What am I treading on? Oh, one of the rocks. You go there. Um, we filled that up pretty well. Not too bad. About, oh, probably a quarter of a bag of cans, I'm not a half a bag, you know, half a bag would be, that'd be full by now. I just got to get to and sweep all this out, that's just plastic. Oh, June's got a few bottles over here, so she's going to empty out. So we've got a bit of wire and stuff, so we might get around to doing a few things extra today. Being a cloudy day, not much I can do around here. Um, Get to and sort that out. There's another rock. That heat and heat beads or whatever you call them for that. And that goes way over yonder. Oh, what a shot! <laughs> I wouldn't be able to do that again. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed tagging along with us on this one. Unloading your stuff. This is what I like to see. That's the good stuff. Yeah, good copper piece. Man. Oh, before I go, I should say before we go. I'll get to and have a look at one of these lights. I want to have a look at one. Let's see what we can do with it, whether it's worth it or not. They're a fairly big thing. Don't know whether that'd work. What do we need? Active, neutral, blah, blah, blah. That's the starter. Do, 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 do. What else? Well, I don't know what that plug would be for. I don't think it'd be worthwhile me trying to think about it. Looking at this line, neg, ground. Well, I think that should be okay to work out. I'll get back to you on this and get a cord connected to it. See what, how we go. Well, unfortunately, plugged the cord in, got nothing out of this one. I didn't test the others over there. I thought, nah, bugger it, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to pull these apart. So I thought I'd just chuck it in this video. Get all these screws out. Got to bend down here for all the screws, so I'll be doing a bit of twisting and turning on you. Get it done, get it out of the road. See what we can get out of this. This outer casing is aluminium, so I've got to get every bit of screw out I can. That way we can have a look inside that too to know what is in there whether it's going to be viable, whether I just put it out as um, uh, um, pressing steel and that sort of thing. So, yeah, get to and pull it apart. Is that starting to rain? Sounds like rain to me. Might be just the wind. I'm hearing things. That down there. Right, 
dealt with that one. We can deal with that one after if we need it again. Take these out. Process of elimination. I think I'll need the heat gun too to um, get the glass out. I've done that last one with one of these and it worked in as a treat. Got out clean cast alloy. Don't have to send it all as one then. We need a bigger one for that. That goes over there. Oh, we can get that one out of there. That one out of there. That releases all those wires. That top plate's stainless. It might be even aluminium. That releases all of that. Get a nut driver for that. Probably uh, 10 mil in here somewhere. You probably can't see it. <laughs> That's the 13. I can't see it myself. So I don't think you'll be able to see it. There's a tenner. No, it's not tenner. Probably 12. 12 is over in that far corner. There we go. Picked it out straight away. No, oh, it's a little bit smaller than 12. Chucked it onto that. That'll gonna do it anyway. They magnetic, yes. They're not stainless then. Gotta get those bolts out. They should break off, hopefully. Cut that off there. Let freeze that up. Right, before we go too far now, we'll undo all of this. Before we go cutting wires. Get all the aluminium off it anyway. It's definitely soft aluminium. Yeah, no, I'm not going to pull that apart. I'm just going to take the aluminium off the outside. That's about all I will get off of that. She's caked in all that tarry stuff. Definitely not taking it apart. First time I've come across one of those. But that's all, that's aluminium. Yeah, low grade wire. Get a screwdriver and pull that apart. We did eventually go and get those tables, the extra one, put it together, get that down to there, peel it open. Got to get some value out of this. Get that to there. Look at that, that's just yuck. Just falling apart. We'll put that down into that. That'll eventually go into the bin over there. Empty that into that. Get that crud out of there. We don't want that stuff. That'll do. Yeah, definitely aluminium. That goes in our domestic pile. Down there. All right, this should come off. Oh, we've got one more there to do. That's off. Cut all these wires off. Cut that one there. Put that over there. On that table. That's dealt with. Almost. We just got to get those yet. Might not need to. We'll see. See if the magnet sticks to them. No, it don't. So we're going to need to leave that. Sweet. Got to do a bit of a cutting it up. Fit it in there properly. Right. Now, I was saying that we may have to use the heat gun. Well, that's a breather pipe. The rubber. That's sticky. Thought it might have been stainless, but it's not. Oh, here we go. That's off. Yes, we do have to use the heat gun. That's cast aluminium. That'll go into 
Right, now we'll get the heat gun working. I've got to put this in the vise. So we'll get this out first, get this unraveled. Don't lose me tie. Down here, cord here. Right, put it in the vise. It's what you do it this way so you don't break your glass. Because once you apply heat to the glass, the glass gets pretty hot anyway. All right. Put it on low heat. Heat her up. Apply a little bit of pressure on one corner. Go high. Starts to come unstuck. There we go. I don't know whether you can see that on camera. I'm prying away from that. Come down here. Had a couple of these before. So he's smashing the glass. That's if you get any of these. There we go. Glass is just about off. I'm hanging on to it. The glass is not hot at all. should fall away. Here we go. Done. Piece of glass. Done. Simple. Simple as. Then all we need to do is pull all this out. Makes a clean sheet of cast aluminium. That can go down in the domestic. We'll chop our wires off that. That is aluminium too. But um, yeah, I'll throw that into the pressing steel because all the LEDs that are on it. A bit of low grade wire. Yeah, wouldn't know what's wrong with that. You'd have to have the driver anyway. That can go into there. So that's how simple that is to pull apart. So, and it doesn't matter whether I leave this rubber on there, they'll still accept it anyway. But that makes it a nice clean piece nothing wrong with that so that's how we do those got two more to go down there in the microwave and the the wheel and stuff go straight in there that makes that bin a bit heavier so i hope you've enjoyed tagging along um, on this one i was unloading the, the vehicle and stuff that may be aluminium so i've got to look at that yes it's alloy get all these wires off and if you've come this far in the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you do subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell. Because if you don't hit the notification bell, you're not going to get notified when we put a new video out. Uh, you can probably see that I'm putting all these ends in there. I don't actually hang on to them or anything like that. So until next time, everyone, happy dumpster, happy scrapping, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio.